Well, certainly uh, grateful and, and proud to be here today and representing the state of Wisconsin and our university and, and football program. And been fortunate to have been a part of the Big Ten for a number of years. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to, to thank Commissioner Delaney and, and his staff and, and all they've done for the Big Ten. And, uh, you know, certainly what they've done for our student athletes. And it's, uh, it's significant and it's uh, appreciated. And certainly wish him all the best in his next endeavors. But it's uh, w what he and his staff and so many people have done to help all of us that are proud and, and get to be a part of the Big Ten. It's, uh, it's truly impressive and, and, and very grateful. And I'm excited to, to be here and, and for you to, to get to know the three players that, that came to Chicago with us. And, uh, and all three great representatives of, of our program. And all three a little bit different. I think that's what's, what's fun about getting to coach a team is it's made up of uh, all different types of individuals that, that come together. And, and uh, I think Tyler Biotic, Chris Orr, and, and Jonathan Taylor are great, great representatives of our team. And, and I like our team. And I appreciate what they've done to this point and uh, certainly looking forward to, to starting fall camp and, and making the most uh, out of the opportunity that is this season. Cheers. Uh, Tyler Hunt, Bucky's fifth quarter. Coach, you guys play five teams coming off a bye as well as the tough schedule in general. Does that, you know, worry you at all or do you just take it week to week? Well, I think that, you know, you have to take it week to week. And I think that's when you as a team are at your best is if you can be in the moment and, and make the best out of that moment. And so, uh, you know, we certainly, you know, you look at the schedule and, and you're aware of it, but you know, our job and, and the challenge that we have, and it's an opportunity, is, is to make the most out of each week. And that's one thing I've always, I think, loved and appreciated about playing in the Big Ten is that you know every week it's going to be a, a big game and you've got to play at your best and uh, to give yourself a chance. And, and so, you know, certainly look at this year is, is no different than that. Any further questions for Coach Christ at this time? Coach Jackson Fabregas with the Buckeyes Wire. How do you build off uh, the success last year, momentum from a bowl win? Does that play into this season, the off season, and excitement for the new year? I think every, you know, everything that's happened before, you know, you have to and you want to. You know, personally, and you, and you want your team to learn from those experiences. And certainly, you know, the last time when you get to play in a bowl game and you win, I think it's you're ending the season on the on the right note. And yet, I think it's you really do have to kind of draw from all your experiences and and learn from them and and take those lessons and hopefully help you you know apply them forward and and help you to maximize the opportunity that is in front of you. So I think you know. There's a lot to be learned from last year, the, the good parts of it and the, and the parts that, you know, we want to improve upon. And I think, you know, if our team can do that and learn from those lessons and, and those that were part of years before, you know, our seniors, our juniors, if they can learn from not just what they experienced in 2018, but 2017 and those that were around in 2016. I think that's the, the beautiful thing about it is you go through those experiences and if you can draw something from them, and apply them forward, then then you're maximizing it. Coach Aaron Barney from 24/7 Sports. Jonathan Taylor has always been a leader on the field. How have you seen him grow in that role off the field? You know, certainly, you know, Jonathan is 
obviously a very talented and, and great running back. And yeah, I really think from the time that he got to campus, you know, he's been a he's been as impressive, if not more, as who he is and how he handles it. And and I think as you you know, as we get to be around him and you see him grow and develop, you know, certainly uh, the the leadership part of it is growing and developing as well. And you know, he he played right away as a true freshman, and and so I think you know had a lot on his plate just to do what he was doing and and certainly from freshman year to sophomore year he was he was more of a leader and like you'd expect and and hope you know he is he is taking that leadership to another level and and what's impressive about Jonathan to me is is as great of running back that he is and I do think he is a great running back he he cares a ton about this team and his teammates. And as he continues to keep pushing to new heights, new levels in performance, he is staying unbelievably grounded. And uh, and I think you know the lead, he's, he, there's natural leadership qualities in JT. And I think he certainly each year feels more freed up. And and I think maybe it's his place to. To, to try to be a vocal leader, but always has been a great leader by example. And, and uh, he is a, you know, truly, really all three of the players that are down here, you know, they're, they're here for a reason. That's, the, they're all three, you know, significant leaders of our team. And, and again, I think great representatives, you know, not just JT, but Chris Orr and, and Tyler Biotich. Hey, Paul, Teddy Greenstein for the Chicago Tribune. What is uh, Graham Mertz's personality like, and how is he handling uh, all the hype? Yeah, Graham's got a great uh, personality. He's, uh, I think he's done a nice job of, of, you know, he came in the in the spring and and getting to know our teammates, and I think he's handling. You know, there's a lot of buzz and and talk, you know, about him, and I think he's handled it well, and I think the team has has handled it as well, and uh, you know, I appreciate. You know, he's the same person, and he's, uh, he again is one that's grounded, unbelievable worker, and, and certainly, you know, I think is going through a lot. You know, any, any of the fresh, we had three freshmen come in early, and, you know, they're experiencing a lot for the first time, you know, going to school and being away from home, and, and you know, there's obviously a ton of football with it, and I think all three have handled it, Graham has handled it well, and and I'm excited for those three, and Graham in particular, that you know went through spring, and then you have summer, and, and now to be able to go into fall camp, and it's not all new to him. Um, but I've been impressed with how Graham has handled himself, and I think he's, you know, he, again, cares a lot about teammates, and, and is a good teammate himself, a good person, and, and I think that's it's a great place to start. Question in the back corner. Uh, Sam McEwen from the Omaha World Herald. Back to Jonathan Taylor for a second. There's this general presumption that collegiate players need three seasons uh, in order to prepare themselves for the NFL. When you look at a guy like Jonathan in the two, first two seasons that he had, do, do you think there should be some kind of stipulation that the NFL allows a player like that to be, especially as a running back, uh, to be able to go uh, to the league a little bit earlier than, than, the, than the three required years that, that they have to be uh, – um, in college? You know, I think that, uh, you know, each, it's hard to put an individual into a, a broad scope. And, and, you know, Jonathan came and had an Im immediate impact, you know, at, at our place. And, and, and that's been impressive. You know, it's, it's, it's hard. And, and I'm not pretending to say that I know the NFL. I've had an opportunity to coach in it. And, be around it, uh, you know, the, I think if you're just to take a look at a general rule and if you're trying to say the amount of kids, are they ready, you know, you need time to develop. It's a, it's a different league. And yet, you know, regardless, I'm excited about with Jonathan. Jonathan has done some amazing things. You know, he, he sets the all-time 
record for freshmen, you know, broke Adrian Peterson's record, and then, you know, was able to answer that with a, with a heck of a season last year and, and, and winning the Doak. And yet, I don't know what JT's numbers will be, but I think there's still things that he can do. And that's what I love about him is he sees it. He can still improve upon, and he can still work to get better at. And I, I think that, you know, part of our job as college coaches is to make sure that our our student athletes are, are ready and confident for the next chapter in their life. And if it happens to be like Jonathan, which I believe is having a chance to play in the NFL, we want him to be ready and confident for that. And and we've still got more work to do. He's got more work to do to, to be his best. I think he can still take it to another level. And that's what's fun about it. To answer your question about the three years, you know, I think you can never fit it all into every person. And yet I think if you take a look at the large scope of it, you know, they're going to need time to prepare themselves, not just mentally for the game, but physically. Jim Dominic, WMTR, Archibald. Uh, what's your quarterback situation this season, Coach? Well, we're going to have one. We're going to have four. And uh, I, like, I like our group. And, you know, I appreciate and a lot of what Jack Cohen did for us last year. You know, Jack got five starts, and I thought got better in each one of those starts. And like we were talking about earlier, you know, having that experience of, of having played – and then being able to learn from that and, and take a whole off season, a winter, a spring, and a summer, you know, I think Jack has gone about it the right way and has gotten better. And, and I also like, you know, two young quarterbacks that have been in the program and Chase Wolf and Danny Vandenboom. I like what they've done, you know, not just this spring and summer, but, but really kind of their development. And, and certainly we're excited, really excited about Graham. And, you know, he's, He's early in on the process, and, and so I like the group that we have. Um, I'm thankful that we've got Jack coming back that's, that's played in games and certainly looking forward to, to fall camp and, and seeing the growth and development of, of all of them. Coach, thank you for your time. All right, thank you.